Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Receiver. Uh, this is a first person shooter. Um, you may think it looks uh, a little bit weird, a little bit strange, like why is my why have I got a torch floating in midair and why is my gun sort of floating in midair, but this is a bit different this game. This is uh it was as far as I know it was made for a competition in like seven days or something, which is very, very impressive for what it is. It's a, a procedurally generated, like a random uh, sort of roguelike style generated uh, first person shooter but the catch for it the sort of style of it is that it's got realistic gunplay so if I just uh, it's got some quite complicated controls I suppose when you first get used to it but if you see at the top right it says uh, to view help press question mark so I'll do that and there we go we have all the controls for myself and this weapon so look you know move WSAD look around with the mouse jump crouch etc but with the weapon this is uh, obviously a, a revolver this one you can uh, Open up your cylinder and have a look how many bullets you've got. Uh, I've got actually a full clip, a full cylinder. Wow, that's bizarre. And then you close it back up again. But because you actually have to eject the shell, so I'll show you that now. I'll hold V. They don't always all come out, so I'll do it again. And then I can pick up, because obviously they're not spent bullets, I need them. So I'll hold G and pick them all up again. And then I have to tap Z in this case to insert bullets. It's always highlighted, as you can see on the right. Uh, it says tap Z to insert bullets. So it's very helpful, and then tap R to close, and there we go. Reloaded pistol, reloaded uh, revolver. Now, I I re find that really, really, really like addictive. I really like high fidelity sort of simulation style games anyway. Um, but it's nice. It's nice to have something a little bit different. Um, now, when you guys, if you first play this game, you'll notice that I've got it as uh, sort of the standard first person shooter weapon sticks to the center of the screen. So I think I'm just used to that, like from other first person shooters. Uh, but if you play armor perhaps, or you're used to games that have a little bit of dead zone, you can actually, that it starts off in this setting, which is, you know, like you have a little dead zone in the center of the screen, so you can aim slightly off to where you're looking, which, which is nice. I'm gonna keep it for now, because I like to play games as, as designed. Um, but anyway, the basic premise of this game is, if you can look at, see on the top right, it says not tapes absorbed of 11. It's a very strange premise for a game, but it's kind of like Slender Man. You have to don't worry. There's no creepy enemies that jump out on you or anything, apart from like killer bots that sort of these little hovering robots with tasers that chase after you and little sentry guns. They're the only enemies I've seen so far. But you have to collect these 11 tapes, and um, it tells a story as you collect them. It's like little audio snippets that I assume the uh, creators has made. Um, and you're always on the lookout for bullets and enemies around corners and things. But there's no apart from that is pretty much just the gunplay and um, there's multiple weapons like I, I quite enjoy the revolver because it's simple and and plus look you can spin you can spin the cylinder how cool is that yay <laughs> I mean who, who doesn't want to do that with a revolver I mean really um <laughs> yeah it's good fun there's uh, as far as I know I think it started with only a 1911 which is happens to be one of my favorite pistols uh, and I'm I'm British what do I know about guns but I've always enjoyed that pistol, it's lovely. See there's a little killer bot up there just where my gun's pointing. So if he sees me, they scan around and if they see you, he'll rush towards me with the taser. I've actually tried to record the start of this episode a couple of times now and just been jumped on by one of those things. Oh, a little bit of draw distance thing there, but never mind. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to get off uh, exploring and try and find some of these tapes. So as I said, the levels are procedurally generated, so every time you die, it just instant spawns you back into the game with a brand new level really, so ooh, there's lots of bad guys in there, there's one up there, there's one there, I might try and long shot him actually, pull the hammer back first, oh no, that again, ah, and I'm dead, sorry if that was a bit loud, but um, yeah, that's how easy it is to die, that was me being hesitant for the sake of video, oh, a little revolver again, oh, let's put some more bullets in that, lovely, I'll put the controls up again just so you can see, but that was just me, um, doing it by memory um yeah well that was fun see how the enemies really are dangerous you learn that pretty quickly uh that it's, it's a one hit kill game there's is that bad guy yep um yeah it's a one hit kill even the, the mounted turrets you can move fast enough to sort of circle strafe around but oh sorry i was ah, damn it <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, quite difficult. Or I'm just rubbish with the roller. Uh, but yeah, the the turrets you can actually circle around and sort of circle strafe. Ah, Glock. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Uh, this is uh, a switch between. I think it's burst fire by automatic uh, or fully automatic. I think that's the burst fire. 
can even check if there's a round in the chamber, which there is. That's holding uh, T and then R together, which is in the advanced help, but I won't be that open for now. There's already enough writing on the screen. Um, ooh, there's one already. Uh, die. Aha, one down. Only about however many random enemies to go. I haven't got a torch in this one, you see, so it's random what you start with as well. Like I said, there's a 1911. Uh, there's this Glock, which is full auto. I thought it was burst fire as well, but maybe not. I'm not going to waste bullets by checking. Oh, look, turret. Now, they all have weak points. Like, you can shoot these, like the little sensor, the camera, the gun, apparently, and they will have hit detection on different areas. Um, obviously, different weapons have different penetration power. And, oh, yeah, this is burst fire um, by default. And then you can set it to full auto. Ah, you're dead. So these are the turrets that you can actually circle straight by that, and they're, they're, you're just about fast enough to sort of run around them but like I said it's usually not worth the risk because it's only a one hit kill anyway so uh, there's another one there you can see this blue light that's his little sensor so I know that ooh, a torch and some bullets yay you can put the torch away by just pressing one uh, if you ever you know you're outside and it actually is like it's not a particularly bright map anyway so I'd assume you'd need a torch and it seems to help um, show where the bullets are on the floor uh, quite a little bit easier I suppose they, ref they reflect <laughs> Hmm? And that second beep that he made meant that I could, uh, he stopped looking for me. Oh, no, see, I'm out of ammo now. So I'm going to eject my magazine. And then I'm going to host my weapon. And then you have, to, you have to do that to insert bullets into your clip, which is epic. Isn't that cool? Draw your weapon again. And then press Z to insert it back in. And then T to unlock the slide. Do I just check whether we're around in the chamber? it is amazing how cool is that I mean you even get the spent shells on the floor look oh it's very cool it's very like if this really was made in like, seven days except for maybe the extra guns that he may have added later I mean it's really impressive it's for yeah it's literally this hardly cost anything it's on steam you can look it up uh, it's under it's called receiver um, I think it was about maybe a fiver or something or maybe a little bit more like seven pounds or something I'd say it was worth it like, if you like it Oh, that was a really silly decision. Ah! Alright, I've got to reload again. So, Jet Magazine. Ah, I have no bullets left. Oh, that's not fun. No, oh, I'll get that back up again. Hmm. Well, that's not good. No, I'll put it back in anyway. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go around like this, because... <laughs> I'll holster it, actually, and just use the torch for now. Now this is dangerous then, that means I'm going to have to play sneaky sneaky and run around. I definitely saw a bullet there, is that one bullet maybe? Ah. Oh he's dead, did I get it? Ah, I killed it's like, oh no I didn't. <laughs> so I managed to find a bullet, yay. So we'll draw my weapon. Ah, uh, no it won't, we will. How did I get my magazine out? Oh yeah I didn't eject. That's on, holster. Yay, I have one bullet. <laughs> so yeah, apologies if I'm sort of fumbling around with the controls, but it, like I said, it's, it's fairly, you know, it's complicated compared to a... Ah, see? It's fairly complicated compared to a standard shooter. So there we go. And then slide, cool. Um, yeah, it's fairly complicated compared to a normal shooter, so please bear with me if I... Oh my goodness, there's two robots. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get through there. But what the hell, I'm bored of this gun, I've got no ammo, so... No YOLO! There was a machine gun in the corner as well. Now, apologies if this is really loud. I'm going to try and sort this out. Uh, right, what have we got this time? A revolver again. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try and sort the, the volume out. Actually, I'll just turn the master down a little bit. See how that goes. I'm not sure if it actually saves those uh, settings every time you uh, you restart the game. So, apologies if that was a bit loud. But yeah, like I said, it's I haven't even shown you a tape. I haven't even managed to find you a tape yet. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll try see what I can find. See that's the only irritating thing about the whole uh, dead zone, dead space play, uh, dead space, dead zone aiming is that it takes a lot of time to look up and down. Like you see what I mean, it's slightly less responsive, or it seems like it's less responsive because you've got more more screen to scroll. But, meh. Oh, I didn't even check my ammo. One more bullet. Cool. Die. Oh, I am rubbish today. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, are they all spent? I think they are. 
Yep. <laughs> They're all, all, wet, all done already. Yep. So it's bullets. Not quite sure how many rounds I've got with this actually. Usually it shows you in the top corner a bit. Ah, this will do. Ah, another bullet. Oh, there you go. It's like four. Four spare. Now I'll try and find you a tape and then, uh, then we'll call it a day. I'm trying not to die by this guy. Oh, damn it. That's what happens when you don't pull the hammer back. <laughs> Obviously, if you haven't pulled, caught the hammer, first press of the trigger is going to... Oh, what we got here? Is this a 1911? I think it is. Let's pull the slide back. Yep. Nice. I do like this gun. It's very nice. But yeah, obviously, in a revolver, if you don't pull the hammer back, the first thing, the first thing that's going to happen when you pull the trigger is the hammer's going to come back <laughs> to fall, I believe. And then after that, you can... Oh, here we go. No, that's a torch. Damn. I thought it was a, I thought it was a tape. There's only 11 of them in the whole game, so, or the whole level, so I'm sure they wouldn't be that uh, close together. But then again, it's random, so you could probably get lucky. Like I said, I think I've only been playing this for about a day or so, or you know, like a few hours even. Um, but I'd say maybe I'd found like three overall. And they're all different as well, they all have different little uh, clips of the story, like basically little sections of, of, of uh, like what's going on and why you're why you're a receiver finding these tapes and stuff. It's quite interesting. Like I said, very very quickly made game, but you know, very, I find it quite impressive and quite fun to play, regardless of how repetitive you might think it is. It's it's quite it's quite addictive to get used to the gunplay and reloading and stuff. And oh, I don't know, I just find that really impressive, and I hope you guys uh, uh, agree with me to some extent. <laughs> Oh, you see me. Oh, oh wow, I had one bullet in that. Anyway, well, I'm failing, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is a receiver, like I said, you can get it on Steam for not a great amount of money. Uh, like I said, it was a competition build, I believe. Um, I cannot remember the name of the competition, but if you do, if you Google receiver game, uh, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, it I'll put, I might put a link to it if I can, uh, the website in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you on the next game. See you guys.